Hello to the amazing person who clicked on this video. This is going to be an in-depth look at the secrets of the screenshots Ninja Kiwi revealed on their Steam. Some of these Easter eggs are really secret and could provide some insight towards later on in the game, so make sure you watch to the end of the video. Keep in mind, everything here is speculation, none of this is fully revealed, and without further ado, let's begin. The first two easter eggs come from this screenshot. In the top left, we see Open's Bramble's ability with a little 1 next to it, indicating that this could be some sort of hotkey. In Battles 1, the hotkeys could only place down towers and activate powers, but they couldn't activate activated abilities from the specific things. This could make PC Micro a lot faster than it was in Battles 1 if we're able to use hotkeys to activate activated abilities. Secondly, you'll notice the queue here has three MOABs in it, but it only covers a very, very small part of the screen. Perhaps in Battles 2, we'll be able to send a lot more balloons in the queue at once, compared to the only five or six that we could send in Battles 1. This could be really game-breaking, because you could send a ton of balloons and then get up defense, not worrying about how long it will take for the balloons to come out, and not consistently sending balloons once your first set of balloons is sent. Number three. Badges. We can see here that there seem to be two different types of badges. These gold and platinum badges with a little skull on them, and these balloon badges. And perhaps this represents different spots on different types of leaderboards. NK has revealed that they're going to have an ELO-like system. So perhaps they're also going to have a regional leaderboard, a friends leaderboard considering their social tab, or other possible options. Number four comes with choosing heroes. NK has initially said that they would release four heroes upon the start of the game. And you can also see your opponent's hero pick in their lobby screen, but it also allows you to change your hero in your lobby screen, and say one hero counters another. Could you just change your hero in order to counter your opponent's hero, but then couldn't your opponent change their hero at the second after? Assuming that you can still change your hero while the time goes down, it could be a giant game of super fast hot potato rock paper scissors with deciding heroes. I wonder how they're gonna resolve this. I'm crediting Alukian for finding number 5. We can see our money at the top of the screen here, and it appears to be some sort of countdown timer clock in order to see our next eco boost. Something super interesting. 6 is the most interesting by far. In two of the screenshots, we can see little easter eggs etched into the walls of BFB Coliseum, and NK has done things like this before. Hence the teaser of BTD Battles 2. Now this symbol almost identically mimics the Moab Mauler and the Moab Assassin from Battles 1. I don't know what the purpose of this is, but I'm sure it's really interesting and has some deeper meaning. The last cool thing I found is a possible teaser of the Vengeful Temple in BTD Battles 2. One of the maps we have here has the same color scheme as the Vengeful Temple in BTD 6, along with having two ominous looking eyes that could possibly resemble it. Now that's it for this list, comment down any possible speculations you have below. This is all speculation, none of this is confirmed, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. With that, have an awesome rest of your day everybody, peace out, I'll see you guys next time. And yeah, battle's too hype, let's go!